Hi, this is Ben Ivey, the Fulfillment Artist. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to stop overthinking everything. So first things first, have you ever been in, in a place where you just overthought everything and got yourself really stressed out? Because I had one of these uh, the other day and, and it was really, really funny. So <laughs> it was with my mum and my mum had messaged me and I hadn't got any of the notifications on WhatsApp. And then she started worrying and overthinking everything. She's like, oh my God, Ben must have died. The plane must have crashed. What's going on? All these different things. I need to get Air Force One to fly in there to save him. And, and she's got herself in a huge worrying state. And then myself, I'm like, yeah, it's all fine. Don't worry. Just message me on like Facebook or something. And, and I think it's really funny that we just jump to these conclusions. And you know when your mind just like goes off on one as such. For example, let's say you're in a relationship. And then suddenly you see a message from someone you know, that, that you don't know, right? So, so let's say, I don't know, you're, you're looking at your, your girlfriend and then suddenly she receives a message from, I don't know, John. Okay, and you're like, who's John? I don't know a John. And then you think, what? Why is John messaging her? How long have they had this conversation for? Maybe John's a, a, a new person. Oh my God, maybe, she, maybe, maybe they're having an affair. Oh my God, how long has this been going on for? Oh my God, that bitch, how, how could she do that? And then, and, <laughs> and then your mind just goes crazy. And I think it's so funny because often it's just like a small thing and then suddenly it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So why is it that this happens? Because you know, I mean, if you're watching this, you're suddenly interested, like, why is it that your mind just goes down like this trail of just like worrying or like thinking, or like, let's say you make a decision in your business or you fire someone. So you think, oh my God, did I make the right decision? Oh, that was silly. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have fired that person. I haven't got a replacement yet. Yeah, but I heard you should, you know, hire slow, fire fast, and I fired fast. Maybe, maybe I fired too fast. And, and then, you know, even in business, you start worrying about you know, should I have done that? Should I have done that? But the thing is, is we waste so much time on things that are out of our control. So once again, I pose the question, why is this? We have to look about, you know, how the human mind is wired. And you're wired to look for things that are wrong. Because you need to survive. So if there's something that is out of place or something different, or there's a decision that you've made that you think could impact you, your mind literally just gets hijacked and just goes into this thing. And it's not you thinking, because everyone does it. And if everyone does it, it's not you, it's just how the human brain is wired. So you need to interrupt that pattern or rewire it in order for it to stop thinking these just, just stupid things. Now, how is it that you can do this? So I've got a full step procedure, it's really simple and any time that you are appearing to you know, be overthinking these things, I want you to test it out. So if you're someone that overthinks every single day and you're very good at overthinking, then I would seriously suggest doing this today. So number one, the first thing is to catch yourself. Right? And this is by far the most important thing. Because for a lot of it, it's unconscious and it's a pattern that we have run for a very, very long time. So the first thing is you need to catch yourself. So at some point you're going to start worrying and you won't know why and then suddenly you'll be like, why am I worrying? Like, why am I overthinking this? That's, that's, that's the most important step. Catch yourself. Next, breathe. Because often what happens is when you start worrying, you're going like this. You know, oh my God, what happens if this happens? And then this, and then this, and then... And, and, and your breathing just starts getting like really shallow and you go faster and faster and faster and faster. And, and then you know you just become lightheaded and then everything goes wrong. So, so next, the second thing is you're just gonna breathe. So you're just gonna go. <sighs> okay, that's what Ben said to do, Ben said breathe. So I would say take you know three deep breaths because that'll be enough time just to center yourself and relax. And then I just want you to observe. Okay, so as you're breathing, just to observe what's going on in your head. Because it's not you thinking, I just want you to observe like how all these crazy thoughts are happening and disassociate yourself. Because by disassociating, you're no longer thinking it's you. 
and you're allowing yourself that space to think differently. So just watch your mind going crazy and just think, you know, wow, w w what is going on here? Like, how, like, why is my mind thinking like this? And then you're going to question it. Now, questioning is really, really important. Because when you're questioning, you need to ask good questions. And I cannot tell you how important this is for the people that I work with. Because even business managers and owners and you know, CEOs can get themselves into a place where they ask shitty questions. And if they ask bad questions, you're going to get you know, bad answers. So instead, you, you need to think, okay, how can I ask myself better questions? Because let's let's use a let's use, let's use a business example when you fired someone. So let's say you fired someone, and then the question you ask is, oh, why was I so stupid? What kind of answer do you expect to get when you ask yourself a question, why was I so stupid? What a stupid question to ask yourself. But some people never question the questions that they ask. So, so the next thing is, you know, what other questions could you ask that wouldn't be so silly of you to ask? Okay, how was this a good decision? Okay, that's a great one. And another one you could do is, so let's say your mind's racing. Say, do I know that 100% for sure? Like, let's say we go on the, I don't know, Edward has messaged your girlfriend and you're worried, right? How do you know... 100% for sure that it's the conclusion that you have. You don't. So why are you worrying? What's the logical next step? Why don't you ask? Why don't you message? And then you don't have to worry. But instead, we all have this internal dialogue. Okay, so thinking of the, the better questions is, is really, really important. Another good question could be, is it worth worrying about this right now? Is there something else I can focus on that would be a better use of my time right now? And these, these sorts of questions, right, is what will help redirect you in a better direction and allow you not to be hijacked, for your, from, uh, hijacked? from your mind. And it'll really help you move forward. Now, I know a lot of the guys watching this, you know, are entrepreneurs or have this sort of entrepreneurial spirit. And when you get overwhelmed by taking on lots of things or if you manage lots of things, a great question that I ask is, what is my next step? Because it's easy for us to get lost in sort of overwhelm. And for all of you big picture thinkers, this is a great question. So, you know, what is my next step? And just focus on the next step. Because some of us try and, you know, put out everything out. We overthink every step. And instead think, okay, what is my next step? And just allow that decision-making process. Because you can only make so many decisions in a day. So just focus on, okay, what is my next step? What should I focus on now? How can I influence even more people just today? And that's great. Even though you can have the long-term strategy, you need to have some sort of short-term thinking with regards to the next step. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you find this strategy helpful. Once again, I'd really recommend like writing this strategy down or, or remind yourself of it. Just write down the four points, they're really easy. And next time you feel yourself overthinking, just go back to it. And the more you do this, the better you get. And something that I'll say is if you're watching these videos, you're getting some really good tools and strategies. But if you're not using anything, nothing's going to change. Because knowledge is potential power. So if you want to use this, then make sure to write it down. Write a reminder on your phone. You know, am I, am I overthinking right now? Use this strategy. And set that reminder because that's going to help redirect your mind and then you're going to be constantly focusing on it. Right? L like I say, right, if knowledge is potential power, then everyone would have you know, eight-pack abs and we'd all be you know, millionaires. It's not the case. Because there's a big difference between knowing and doing. And if you're not doing it, then you don't know it. So take it on. I challenge you. And uh, yeah, let me know what, you th uh, what happens. Okay, I'll speak to you next week and thank you for listening.